Hi, welcome. This is uh, dear Emma and Susan. Hi. <laughs> we both work for the Rosemary Connolly classes in Derby and um, we've been asking our members about some questions that all the members might need to know, hear the answers to. So we thought we'd just put them on video because everyone keeps asking similar questions and this would cover everybody. So please do give us some feedback. If you like this, what we're doing here, we can do another session. If you bring, uh, send the um, questions in by Facebook or um, email us or in the class, that's absolutely fine and we can do it again. But if you don't like it, that's fine as well. No problem. So we're going to start with a question. I'll um, ask question we'll just literally discuss them through like we would normally in the class so dear susan and emma i'm going on holiday in only four weeks time i'm desperate to lose as much weight as possible what's the best way to do this from margaret that is in derby what do you think emma well i think really um has she been coming to the class very long or about 18 months oh, right, 18 okay months, yeah right so an established member, she um, no doubt knows exactly what she's doing with the diet. I think there's a few things that you need to check initially. First, write it all down, good and bad. Be yeah, honest, definitely. because often when things start going awry, we conveniently forget to write things down. So yeah, I think definitely. straight away, get yourself on track and look at what you're having. Yeah, do it now. Just literally do it now. Get a book, write it down. Yeah. Even if you haven't got a sheet, just write it down. Yeah, definitely. just keep a little book. Um, and then also just start checking your portion sizes and um, whether that's using your portion pots or weighing things out um, because often members that have been coming to us a while don't they they just you, you sort of know what you're doing and so you go off on your own thing and sometimes yeah. we just need to come back to basics we and do. think no you know check your portion size but follow the plan that Rosemary gives us yeah, definitely. I've done it myself recently and the amazing thing that happens is da -da, it works. we lose weight you feel fuller, yeah. you feel better because the combination of the foods is so good um, and straight away it just reminds you the variety that you can eat instead of yeah. being stuck in a rut but also just feeling great and feeling full and not desperately thinking what am I going to eat, what am I going to have. Yeah. And then I think one of the last things is exercise, isn't it? Oh just definitely, yeah. Just really, from if you've got four weeks, that's 28 days, every single day build a 30 minute walk. If, if it's mm. just a walk, if it's 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night, build it in wherever you can. Yeah, very or much. obviously if it's more, if you can do more, do more. But yeah. that's the minimal I would suggest for those 28 days. You will see your bum and thighs really toning up later. Yeah, so do give that a go. But, um, you know, there's loads of other suggestions, but we want to keep it simple as possible so it's generic for a lot of people if you can. But I'll have a little chat with Margaret in the class next week as well. Yeah. Right, question two. Dear Susan and Emma, I'm really good from Monday to Friday. You know what's coming, don't you? And then the weekend hits. Um, how do you deal with it? That's from Susan uh, from Alistair. Well, what do you do first? What do I do? Right, okay, so yeah, it's that Friday night feeling, isn't it? You mm. want to go, oh, let's, can't be bothered to cook, let's have a takeaway, and then it starts to roll into let's yeah. have a drink, and then you have a nibble. Ugh. So if you're really good Monday to Friday, I suggest that um, we, we do have treat calories that we can have, but I would just um, try and be as you know tight on those as you possibly mm. can yeah start saving them up now yeah. if you know you're going out actually on the friday or the saturday night and you don't go out very often i'm really a big believer of just going just out there and enjoy. enjoy it yeah very much i think the thing is we're doing all this to improve our overall health and fitness and lifestyle this is a lifestyle plan i know i beat this drum all the time you can't keep depriving yourself no. we all have a life if you constantly um don't do things you can't do things you enjoy you will fall off the wagon exactly. so but the decision has to be made that's not to say that you know it's okay to go out and have gut busting dinners every <laughs> weekend because obviously that's not going to work no. either but i think it's about the choice and the balance so like susan says if you don't do things very often go and enjoy it have a lovely time next day get straight back on the wagon do extra exercise but if if you are a very social person and we've got lots of them um, lucky devils <laughs> then um, just choose how important is it what is it that you want if you go out every weekend then you need to make the decision of um, probably go and have something like um, Cajun chicken new potatoes slimline tonics things you can still go out and have a lovely time yeah. and stick to your diet yeah or your healthy eating rather but um, you need to just make the decision of basically what is more important and obviously you know that 
but the, you can't kid yourself into thinking yeah. that you can keep on doing it and that it you will keep on yeah, using you'll not get away with it work. for a long time. But no. the other thing is, recently we've been doing some interval training on Saturday mm. morning. So we've been getting up, the class starts at nine. So it's done and dusted, just half an hour of exercise. Amazing how many people feel so much more motivated when they've done something on a Saturday definitely. morning. So definitely get up earlier if you don't have time on a Saturday, which I think most people do ha yeah. really have the time. If you yeah. really thought about it, you could fit some stuff in and give yourself a quick blast of exercise that will get your endorphins going. Yeah. Because once you start feeling good about yourself immediately in the morning, you're just going to take it through the day. I mean, some of my members have been saying that um, she, they can't believe it, that they're going home and doing the ironing. I mean, <laughs> really? Like, you've got to be desperate. Buzzing to, to do, definitely buzzing to do the ironing. To my ass really, like, <laughs> powering through the ironing after the interval class. That's it. Really I need good. to do that. That's <laughs> what I've got to do then. Yeah, we'll do that. So definitely, if you can get some exercise in, save up your treat calories. I'd say, like you say, um, have a nice time if you're just going out once in yeah, the week. Yeah, that's it. Um, this isn't a diet. It's not deprivation. This mm. is health forever. Mm. So we need to learn how to deal with our lifestyles, very and much. everybody is very different. Now, if you are someone who has a curry on a Friday night. I would definitely recommend the solo slim yes, curries. Yes, I've done that. Um, in fact, I did it with my family the other day. We've got like seven different options now of curry. Um, and we just had a curry night. Mm -hmm. And I've heated each one up, put them in a the little bowl, so they look like from the curry house. And I made my own rice, actually. did basmati rice, just plain white rice. Mm -hmm. And it was so nice. Honestly, they're really good quality. So why not do that? Have yeah. some curries in. Or if the, you, your family are having the curry, you have a solo slim yeah. instead. It really is a good... Okay. Um, option to have that instead mm. right we're, we're zipping on because we don't want to go on too much <laughs> once we get going there's no stopping us we'll still be let me tomorrow. tell you <laughs> so the next question um dear susan and emma i'm doing loads of exercise and the weight doesn't seem to be moving as fast as i want it to what am i doing wrong um that's from jessica mm. so what do you Such think a Emma? common one isn't it it is and to be fair it is it's one that I've sat and asked you the same question. I'm mm. going, Susan, what am I doing? I'm doing so much. I think, again, it comes down to, I'm assuming that this person is probably um, close to their goal. Um, yeah. She's, or they're obviously well, very active. They're doing loads of exercise. Yeah. So you would think she is, that yeah. she, she's lost a lot of weight. Um, I would think that really we need to think about intensity of exercise. There's a difference between activity, yeah. general activity, and exercise. Um, so I think really you need to be thinking of what it is that you're doing and how are you doing it. So if you are a normal active person of a day, you do lots of walking and all, that's quite easy now, you need to up your game. Yeah. So you need to be doing the more intense um, exercise that we would show you in class, the higher options, and also just trying to probably... Um, maybe even do it for longer. Mix it up with some strength training. Definitely. If you've got resistance band from the classes, or we can give, get you one, there's some great exercise in this Times magazine, actually. And if you just did that program every day, yeah. you would see a difference. You don't believe you would, because you're not as hot and sweaty yeah. when you do toning work. But it is something you can build into your day every day. Um, some of my members have started to do this and actually they're saying actually I don't I feel tired at the end of the day when I've been at work I don't feel like I want to go for a long walk mm. I haven't but got the time will. you have got, got to yes, do it absolutely you've got to do it um, they're using the bands instead mm. and they're thinking well actually I can actually build this in it's making mm. your muscles stronger when your muscles are stronger they burn more calories um, and it's just, just changing, just changing it up well. changes it up yeah because definitely you know it might also be though that sometimes that the scales aren't kind like you can do a lot of this exercise and maybe you're not losing the pounds that you would like but your body will physically change it will look different if you do lots of strength based exercises you don't always need your kit you can get down do some push-ups do yeah. some sit-ups do some um planks planks I've been doing yeah, loads brilliant. of those in classes sorry girls i know but i love them because they will just change the physique on your body. And when you've got some muscle definition, we're losing the fat, so that's going, you're gonna reveal all these beautiful toned muscles. And so sometimes the scales might not move as much, but it's important to do your magic measure as well. Definitely, yeah. But your See physique will definitely change. So mixing it up, so higher intensity cardio stuff mixed with lots of strength-based training. Um, will definitely make a difference, I think. <clears throat> yeah, or if you're not active at all, so if you're a new member and you've never been to us before, mm. if you don't do any exercise, what I would suggest is that you start to build in that 
15 minute walk which I mentioned earlier with other clients um, and just start slowly and we'll build it each week and you can come to class and we'll encourage you to do the walking you don't have to do yeah. the exercise straight away if you, that's what's putting you off it does put a lot of people off I know that and often people go to those other diet clubs first yes. but we're not a diet club we're a lifestyle and fitness um, club so come along and we can help you in any way you want to I think that's wrapped up that question, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Fabulous. Great. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've done 10 minutes. I really think you've listened. You're fed up with listening to us now. But if you do like it, do give us some good comments if you want to. Um, or bad comments, we'll, we'll hear it. If you have any questions you want to ask, please do. Thanks for now. See you. Bye. Bye.